Hi guys, how are you doing today? I want to talk about mixed downs. This is a very interesting topping. I hate this topping to be honest, but it's a very important one. Um, I don't like it because even though I've been making music for over nearly 30 years, I still think that my mix downs are complete shit. Especially when I compare them to other people's music. Um, but I fortunately um, I thought myself to not really pay attention to that. And so when I make a track, I always pay attention to the notes that I'm playing, the melodies, the drum programming and the overall vibe and I and if I think that the, I like the track then I like the track and the mix down is just a part of the sound um, otherwise you can have really nicely produced uh, very great mix down uh, but if the track is shit then the track is shit I mean that's how I judge music basically um, when I just started making music with computers um, I've been using this program called Cubase VST32 which I'm still using to sequence my um, uh, uh, equipment but then I was just basically sequencing and mixing down my audio files and the only mix down that I actually did was just uh, le fader, uh, volume faders and some effects on sends. And I've been using it like that for many, many years. And I've made a lot of my early stuff by just basically like that, you know, volume faders and, and that's it. I, have, I didn't use any EQs. I didn't use any compression. I might have, you know, I could have used these things in pre-production, but doing the mix down, it was just basically just faders, volume faders, and that's it. Now, um, I know that a lot of producers like to compare the music to other music, and it's obviously gonna sound not the same, And but you don't have, and a lot of producers feel sh also shit about their music, so um, just don't really pay attention to that. Pay more attention to actual track, you know, the actual vibe that you're going for, um, the music you're playing, the notes, the programming, and the sound will just, just, I mean, it's it's the secondary to me I, at least. Um, even though, as I said, I still think that my music sounds like shit. It's 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 okay to, I mean, compare your music f with others with other tracks for reference. Uh, I sometimes do the same. I reference them and feel like I need to add more bass or m more high frequencies. But all in all, my attention always goes to the to to the track itself. I mean, the mix down part to me has to be like as quick as possible. And that's why I always uh, have pretty minimal approach to my tracks. I don't overload them with too many tracks, especially right now when I'm working with um, analog equipment. I'm generally, I'm very limited to what I do. So my focus naturally goes to producing a better track in terms of production, not mixed down, but um, um, you know, as I said, melody writing, um, drum programming, um, that kind of stuff. But I'd like to show you what is my approach in making tracks uh, during the mix down, like how how I, what I do, how I use my mixing desk and and stuff. So what I'm having, what I'm using these days is just the Akai S1000. It has eight mono outputs that go straight to the my mixer. It also has eight. Um, mono inputs and I have got a few stereo outputs so basically eight sounds coming from the Akai into the mixing desk and then another stereo channel I use for my micro cork if I need some extra sounds and, and pads and that kind of textures. I also use this uh, quadroverb, quadroverb effect units for some reverbs and my yeah, sound, uh, mixing desk already has built-in effects. So the ones that I actually use is just uh, program 16 or program 15, um, which is always stays the same, which is like nice delay. And I don't even touch it. It's just always stays on program 16. I don't even, I sometimes uh, change some parameters, but all in all, it always stays on a delay. And with uh, quadroverb, I usually go through programs, I sometimes program my own uh, uh, reverb so I could just um, have some extra space. Also, um, 
I keep all my, when I'm mixing down, I keep everything central, so basically mono. The reason I do it that this way, because when I make jungle, it's usually, you know, music uh, for sound systems, music for parties, and in, 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 in clubs, they usually always have, uh, the, 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 the system is always in mono, so it naturally sounds mono, when, when you have, when working with mono sources, it's like, I, I believe it sounds great. Now onto the EQ section. So basically, what I do um, for the for my um, Akaya Chax Volume Two, my basic approach was that I was putting high has high pass filter on everything. Wait a second. I was putting my high pass filter on everything except the bass. So the high pass filter on uh, this mixing desk is fixed at 100 hertz. Um, bass, only bass, I would, I was leaving, you know, as it is, and I would be cutting every, like, on all, all the sounds, like pads and vocals, I would be cutting, sorry for the focus of my camera, I would be cutting bass away, and sometimes just, what was it, yeah, I would just basically cut my bass, and cut some mid frequencies, maybe add a bit of high high frequencies, but usually keep it like that. And uh, I felt that I felt that <laughs> I'm gonna film it like that. I felt like um, Akai Tracks Volume Two. All the tracks, like including my drums, were a little bit thick, and I think that's because I cut it. Like I had a high pass filter at 100 hertz, and it probably killed off a little bit of the body, you know, of the, of the bass frequencies. I decided not to use high, high pass filter on breaks unless I really have very muddy a break and, 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 and then I need to cut some low frequencies. So basically, yeah, from, I'm gonna play you a new track that I'm working on and let's just hear how it sounds. So channel one, I've got it for um, um, amen break. So you, as you can see, really not not much going on. I just basically leave the low end as it is. I cut a little bit of high uh, low mids, and I cut the high frequencies because it has too many high frequencies. If you listen closer. Just a few dBs, I think it sounds better without that. All right. The second uh, number, ch channel two, we have the... The Soul Pride break. It's the same, I boosted a little bit of low frequencies, cut the, you know, low mids. I, and I added a little bit of reverb on all the breaks, just, just a tiny bit. So bass, I have bass, all my high frequencies cut off and I boosted a little bit of low frequency. I haven't, I didn't do that before, so this is my first time doing it and I feel like it sounds more uh, pronounced. So my approach to mix down is really basic. Um, I really don't like spending too much time on my tracks because I get bored of that, and then I, I then and I end up, and then I end up not liking them. So everything needs to be quick. So that's why I have this very simple approach: just a couple of sounds going on, and my 
my most, as I said, attention goes to arrangement because when you have very little sounds to work with, you naturally want to, you know, use them in a more creative way. So programming, breaks, um, arrangement, unusual arrangement. I like uh, to you have unusual arrangement, not necessarily, you know, like the rules of eight bars intro, eight bars, you know, midsection or whatever. I don't, I don't follow these rules. Anyway, I'm very interested on your own approach, like how do you approach your track when mixing down? What techniques do you use? Do you compress? How do you EQ? I mean, you know, that kind of stuff, because um, I'm always learning and I'm always taking tips. Um, so, so yeah, looking forward to your answers. So let me know about your approach, uh, leave a comment explaining and just sharing your own experience. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and have a good day.